Drinking whey protein affecting life expectancy. Meal kits good for the environment. Stink bugs are going to make fruit and vegetable prices skyrocket. What really is keto? Oh, hi folks. Welcome to Fitness and Nutrition News here at Pale Exercise. I'm Philip, a certified personal trainer and group exercise instructor. Fitness and nutrition covers four fitness and nutrition topics that I believe can affect your life in one way or another. Four topics in under five minutes, timer up. Let's go. Put that protein shake down. Stop yelling. People need to know this. This better be good. That drink may negatively affect your mood, lower your life expectancy, and lead to weight gain. Keep talking. Amino acids have long been promoted for their muscle building benefits. Yet since they are so popular, less attention has been devoted to researching their potentially negative side effects. What is this? Amino. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein. In recent mice study, a branch chain amino acid supplementation resulted in high levels of BCAAs in the blood, which lowered serotonin levels in the brain, which is an important signal to increase appetite. The serotonin decrease caused by the excessive BCAA intake led to massive overeating in the mice, which became hugely obese and lived shorter lives. Researchers recommend varying your protein sources in your diet to give a variety of essential amino acids. Meat and dairy have the highest amino acids and for vegetarians you have beans lentils nuts and soy protein and what about this I recommend in moderation as the 2018 protein powder study by the clean label group third party tested 134 of the top selling protein according to Amazon and Nielsen ratings for over 130 toxins like heavy metals BPA pesticides and other contaminants linked to cancer okay 70% of protein brands tested had detectable levels of lead. 74% cadmium, 55% BPA. Go organic. Actually, organic had 1.5 times more arsenic, up to 4.8 times more cadmium, and 1.5 times more lead, yet had 40% less BPA. While 75% of samples tested positive for lead. I think it's burning. Do you know lead and arsenic are naturally found in nature, yet there's no federal limit for arsenic in foods other than drinking water. We'll talk more on Instagram on arsenic. And other than that, try to limit your protein powder consumption. Why? There are no long-term studies on the effects of protein powders as protein powders have not been around that long. Get this shirt off of me. Woo! Next topic, meal kits. Have you ever tried them? This is my favorite kitten. <laughs> I was referring to services like Blue Apron and Hello Fresh. That's not how you say it. That's the way they should say it. Also, this video is not sponsored, yet if you want to, get in contact with my people. Maybe not that one. Just talk to me. What are they? Meal kits are essentially ingredients for a full meal sent to your door, then you chop them up, you chop everything up, and oh. Oh. And you have a meal. Researchers looked at the entire life cycle from farm to garbage for stores and meal kits. Ingredients for meals purchased at stores produce 33% more greenhouse gas emissions than did meal kits. Meal kits involve less food waste and a more streamlined supply. Believe it or not, food does a lot of damage to the environment. Show us the facts. A 2010 USDA study estimated that 31% of the food produced in the US is wasted. 10% on the retail level. 21% by consumers. What a waste. Meal kits are not perfect. They have more environmental impact on packaging, yet that only makes up a small percentage of the environmental impact. When a big chunk of our carbon footprint deals with waste. On Instagram, we actually go deeper in this topic and explore how much food stores actually throw out. Quite shocking. Speaking of shocking, what does that smell? It has been considered a pest. No one has called me a pest before. That's because you're not an invasive species that has spread to 44 US states and is causing severe agricultural damage. Was that a joke? 
Stink bugs. Have you ever seen them? In real life? Or should I say smell them? Adult stink bugs are around the size of a dime, are brown, and have a striped shield shape. Ew. They don't smell like them. <laughs> no. Stink bugs are native to your backyard. China. It's supposed to be funny. They first appeared in the US around 1990, supposedly from shipping containers. Why is this in fitness news? Do you like fruit or vegetables? Yeah, duh. Well, stink bugs have been causing major economic damage to fruit and vegetable crops. There are now over 250 plants that a stink bug will eat and cause damage to. When a stink bug feeds, they damage the fruit or vegetables in many different ways from scarred, faded, sunken areas, deformed pods, white spongy areas. Also when feeding, they release an aggregation chemical that attracts other stink bugs to the area. Come get your dinner! <laughs> yeah, something like that. Once they feed on fruits or vegetables, it makes that crop unsellable and stores will not take them. One year, New Jersey, the fourth largest peach producer in the US, lost 60 to 90% of their peach crop. How can we fight them? <laughs> The best bet is to grab some tissue and crush them. Die, 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 die. <laughs> Produce prices are going to skyrocket if we don't step up and do something. Pesticides really struggle killing them. Killing one won't make a difference. The ocean is filled with a bunch of tiny raindrops. Quote book. Next topic, keto in one minute. You're too slow. Never say never. Jonas Brothers. Let's get deep with keto. What is it? A diet. A new one? Actually, it has been around since 1920. It was used to control seizures in patients who had epilepsy. Does it work? It did, and it continues to be successful along with benefits of weight loss. How? Keto is a low carb diet. Our bodies typically use carbohydrates, carbs, for energy. And we tend to consume a lot of them. Carbs taste good. And they're pretty easy to consume. So good. Ketosis. When you severely restrict your carb intake and take in a lot more healthy fats, the body can only store around 24 hours of carbohydrates, also known as glucose. Ketosis is a metabolic state where most of your body's energy comes from, from ketone bodies in the blood compared to a glycemic state from carbs. Your body becomes a fat burner compared to a sugar burner. People on keto tend to lose weight pretty fast. Now, it is pretty restrictive. We'll go a little deeper with that on Instagram also. So much for one minute. Whoa, that's it. Look at that time. I tried. Please check out all the research we had to cram below in this short video. Don't believe us. Stop listening. Start researching. It is that time where you unbutton one button. No, where you find your glasses. It's been months. Thumbs out glasses out. We hope you learned something new and had some fun too. If you think someone needs to hear this topic, please share it. And likes are appreciated too. Thank you for watching. Ciao. Woohoo! Oh, hello. Hi. Softly, slowly. That's what he likes. And right underneath of his chin, he loves. Yeah.